Hi guys! Aral time na naman. Nahihirapan ba kayo sa mga lessons ninyo? Don't worry because we got your back. So grab your pens and take down notes because we're ready to hit the road in Youth Box! Have you ever wondered what is citations? Why do we need to cite sources? And what are the different types of citations? Malalaman natin yan dito sa Youth Box. Kaya makinig kayo ng mabuti. Conventions in Citing Sources APA What is citation? It is the way you tell your readers that certain material in your work came from another source. It also gives your readers the information necessary to find that source again, including the information about the author. Citations are created to demonstrate where you found your information and allow someone else to access the same material. Citing or documenting the sources used in your research serves three purposes. First, it gives proper credit to the authors of the words or ideas that you incorporated into your paper. Second, it allows those who are reading your work to locate your sources. Lastly, in order to learn more about the ideas that you include in your paper. Let's discuss the APA style. APA stands for American Psychological Association. It is an author date citation style. It was developed mainly for use in psychology but has also been adopted by other disciplines. There are two types of citation used in APA. The reference list and the index or parenthetical citations. First, we have the reference list. A reference list contains only the sources you refer to in your writing. The purpose of the reference list is to allow your sources to be found by your reader. It also gives credit to authors you have consulted for their ideas. The format differs depending on the source type, but every reference begins in the same way, with the author's last name and initials, the publication year or date, and the title of the source. This video will focus on in-text or parenthetical citations, with no direct quotations since we use it more often, especially when we are quoting our favorite personalities. It is very important to put the source of information to avoid plagiarism or be tagged as stealing one's intellectual property. To discuss further, in-text or parenthetical citations or parenthetical references are used within the text of your paper to lead the reader to your reference list. The parenthetical reference will consist of the author's last name followed by the publication date of the article you are citing. The two main components of in-text citation are the surname of the source and the year when the statement was spoken. For one author's statement, if the in-text citation will be written in the beginning of the statement, just write the surname and the year which should be inside a parenthesis, like this example. 2020 said that women should not be materialized. If an in-text citation will be written at the end of the statement, the body must be followed by a comma, then the citation is written in a parenthesis. Surname and year are separated by a comma too. See this example. Women should not be materialized. Cruise 2020 
In writing, two or more authors, same rule applies. However, the authors are separated by the word and and the symbol ampersand. We will use the word and in text citation written in the beginning of the statement while we use ampersand to in text citation written at the end of the statement. Two authors. When there are two authors, separate their last names with an ampersand or with the word and when they appear in the running text. Three to five authors. When there are three or more authors, separate their last names using commas. The last two authors' last names should be separated by both a comma and an ampersand. If you cite the same source again, to save space, you shorten the citation. Instead of including all the author's names, include only the first author followed by et al. meaning and others. Six or more authors. If a source has six or more authors, use the shortened version from the first citation. And that's all for today's video. It is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation. Always remember to cite sources or give credits to the rightful owner para iwas plagiarism. Sana'y natuto kayo at magamit nyo ito sa inyong pag-aaral. Keep safe! And that's all for today's video. Kaalaman ay pagyamanin upang kinabukasan ay mapaghandaan natin. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. Paalam!